just doing a quick video on these uh, soft clothes um, kitchen cabinet hinges. I've never fitted these before, so I've always wondered how to work. Uh, this one appears to be this little section in the middle. I'm assuming it must be uh, spring loaded. So you close the hinge and it hits that last bit. That's the bit where point where it slows down as it hits that. Quite clever. So standard hinges were uh, five pound for the set or seven pound for the soft close ones. So thought may as well. So I've just added one extra um, 500 mil cabinet in my kitchen. Make up for a little bit of the space that I lost when I knocked down my pantry. So just thought I'd quickly show you that in case it might be of interest to someone. Alright everybody, that's the door on. That's the extra cabinet I put in just to make up a little bit of space I lost. Yeah. My cabinets are high in my kitchen there. The original ones that were installed I think were put a little bit too high actually but I didn't really think about it until after they were, they were up. So it needs a little bit of a stretch for me. I mean I didn't reach it all but yeah a little bit a little bit lower would have been better but obviously I'll I put this this one to the same height obviously so it just kind of blending oh, apart from the fact it's obviously a completely different colour but what I'm planning on doing is probably just buy a load of new uh, doors and uh, go with this high gloss white well uh, this was quite easy so them, them hinges work well so uh, a little bit deeper than the cupboards I've already got so I don't know whether they'll start making them a little bit deeper these days I'll say this close, soft close uh, feature is quite a nice touch on your cabinets. Still got to grab a handle for it. Um, I'm thinking of changing them when I didn't grab the handle straight away. I might have a think about what, which one to have. Right, just for anybody who might do one of these, I suppose they're not all exactly the same, but um, you've got quite a bit of adjustment on these. Um, so this bottom screw here, you do that up, it actually, this whole uh, bracket moves up and down. You'll see that little slot there, you see, you actually see it clear as day moving up and down what you got. I don't know, not a massive amount, but just enough so you can uh, get it nice and level with the, with the bottom sort of thing, because uh, it was a bit off. Uh, this left hand screw. That does you um, from side to side, so that's kind of got that nice and flush there. That needed a bit of adjustment, and the screw on on the right hand side, you adjust that one, and it actually moves the door in and out a bit, like gives you a little bit of a gap. So you've yeah, got a good amount of adjustment on them. Now, when you're finished doing them, you get a nice little uh, decorative cover to cover up two them two adjustment screws there. Just, uh, so end up looking like that at the end. So yeah, nice simple little job. So I think that one there was about twenty one pound for the cabinet. That's a five hundred mil cabinet. And then it was a uh, £30 for the high gloss door, uh, say so for the standard hinges, £5, this is all at B and Q, or just an extra £2 for the soft clothes ones, which uh, that's worth it I guess. But yeah, I'm thinking I'd like to change all my kitchen cabinets to that high gloss colour, but uh, the doors ain't cheap, so even just to do your doors, you're going to cost you a few quid, but obviously you can make your kitchen look completely different without the hassle of ripping everything out, just literally replace all your doors and uh, new looking kitchen and you want to go to the trouble of changing your worktop as well, which I, I might do. So what I'm intending to do is just a little bit of worktop under there and uh, slot my washing machine under there. Okay, well, we've had the washing machine in the outhouse. This was, as you've seen from previous videos, uh, that was where my walk-in pantry was. And my fridge used to sit there, which just like dominated the kitchen. 
So it's all coming nicely together. So I'm just going to have a look around some of the carpet shops, find a nice bright um, lino type flooring to put down. Something nice and light. And we'll be pretty well done in here then. Alright, catch you later.